A very good evening, ladies and gents, and welcome to tonight's week ahead video where we're going to be covering the pairs uh, that we look at, uh, predominantly FX pairs that we look at in this um, particular series. And we we gauge where we're sitting in the market cycle and we identify what potential trades are leading for next week. Before I do that, trading is risky. These trade signals aren't a personal recommendation to you, so they're certainly not a regulated activity from that regard. You don't have the protections you may expect to have, um, such as being able to complain to the Ombudsman or the Financial Services Compensation Scheme. Um, lastly, Synergy is authorised and regulated by the FCA. Uh, and let's begin. So we had a really positive week last week, albeit I... I did cut a few trades short just um, because we had non-farm payroll and they subsequently did kick on. So that was a bit annoying that I'm not going to be able to enjoy the fruits of my labour, but I hope that some of you did. Um, let's start with AUDCAD, which is at the top of the list. Here we go. So AUDCAD, what are you saying? ADCAD's declining, even though we were taking CAD trades. What have we got here? This is the beautiful pattern. We have the Gartley pattern completing here. High, 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 low. High, 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 low. Notice the blue harmonic, harmonic, harmonic. Harmonic is simply the uh, length of price retracement. Quite an interesting setup here. One, two, three, consolidated. This is a trap. This is a false move. False moves at the beginning of the month normally. Is there anything for us? Let's see. Excuse me, guys. I'm so tired with kids. My God. Um, there doesn't seem to be a great deal here. We do have a week of drop, second week of drop. That does potentially suggest we have a third in the making. So just confirm there's nothing for us on that. AUDCHF has been a tough one. We took a, list, a loss on this one um, the week before last. It's a peak formation trade. Shouldn't really mess with the peaks, but I do like that. Notice this low here, this low here. That's that's the biggest telling indicator for me. We saw a one, two, three to the low. <clears throat> and then we've seen price come back down and test the low of this box here. Um, personally, I think that's the end of the cycle. And uh, I do expect us to turn around and start moving up. It is a peak. It makes things trickier. Right, AUD, NZD, this is a massive level one consolidation. It's doing what I expected, but the fact that we're still within this high, low area, high, 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 low, high, 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 low, it does potentially mean we're going to complete the ABCD lower. That would have been an easy trade, folks, but just knowing that we are still trading within that, you know, I had it all drawn out. There's your first zone, second zone. Difficult trade to get into, day of drop, second day of drop. Weaker drop, second weaker drop hasn't yet made a 30 may have done on this is this a double bottom is it continuing ultimately no it's in line with the trend need to wait for a pullback of some kind not for me not for me i need to see more um i want to see a break and a retest of that low right moving on adusd missed this guy beautiful Absolutely beautiful, but I'm going to have it this week, no doubt about it. This is the last serious lower high that we've got a one going on. One, this is two. I'm looking for this. Enter. What have we got to show? We've got a weaker drop, second weaker drop, third weaker drop. We're looking to trade in line with the trend. We're looking to take two into three. So that's the first, that's the easy part. The hard part is this. This is the hard part, identifying where you are. So we're in the first, the second, and we can see the third. This is going to be a great trade, ladies and gents. Just a case of getting in. It's a beauty. CAD CHF, I'm not really touching this. Like all CHF pairs at the minute, a little bit weaker, not too short. CAD JPY, just for um, observations. You know, this is at the moment in time a harmonic that held so it is a higher low at the minute this is a previous high low is this level three rise is this a peak too many what ifs so i'm not interested now this is one that is singing to me look at it level one level two and just erupting here break retest one two three we've taken out this that's major for me so now i'm in 
I'm looking um, looking for opportunity. Huge, huge opportunity here. So far, we've got to change character. I want to see a break of structure, but what you can identify by simple deduction is that this is the first zone of consolidation. We're waiting for the second, but I think this is trend at the minute. And then you'll probably get the second up here. Um, so this is one I absolutely love and uh, I will be taking it. So we've got AUD, USD. Let me write these down before I forget. AUD, USD. Uh, what's this one? Euro. Euro AD. Yeah, thank you very much. We're going to have some of that. Eurocad, this is one we took. Beautiful. A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. Uh, why did we take it? Well, we started seeing the breakdown of the previous trend. Notice you can notice the market makers cycle if you train your eyes well enough. Shoulder, head, shoulder. This was pretty easy to be fair, and we expect this to continue. We expect this one to continue right out. This is exiting level one consolidation. So it's going to be an aggressive move and it's brilliant. Uh, Euro CHF pig, pig lows of the peak. In the summer, there was nothing else to trade. So we were trading things that weren't perfect, but you have to as a trade signal service. Um, Euro AED, Euro GBP. This is either a fat level one consolidation, shoulder head, shoulder. Can notice the pattern on the way down. I don't like it personally. I'm passing on that. I love this Euro NZD. I'm in personally. I didn't get around to send it. Level one, level two, same as Euro AUD. Flipped of AUD USD. It's a beautiful setup. It's easy. This guy's EZ. One, two, three, consolidate. That's it, guys. One, two, three, consolidate. Once you can pick out what makes consolidation zone, um, you know, the rest of it's quite easy. So, so far we've got above the consolidation, we can just label push one. This is clearly push one. We want to wait to see push two, and then we're going to look for some action in here. Beautiful stuff. Let me save that because I can't be bothered to draw it all again. Uh, Euro USD, tricky dicky, but nice. You know, we did get the trade away. We got a TP1 on this on Friday. It's beautiful. Uh, one, two, three. This is consolidate. This is a trap on a Friday. This is a false move. We do expect this to continue higher. Notice the previous downtrend was disturbed. Uh, level one consolidation, expecting higher prices. Nice. GBP AED, God, God, God pattern. Level one, level two. Sent this in the group, bottled it on the news, continued on to TP2. Oh, well. Same as this, GBP, AED, GBP CAD. This is level two, rise, high, 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 low. We've left level one. The next consolidation zone's up here. This is an absolute runner, and we sent it as well. GBP, CHF, we understand what's going on here. This is level one consolidation, expecting higher prices. Um, we did take out the highs with the change of character and then aggressively come down in an ABC manner. Not sure where this is going to want to stop. Is it going to want a double bottom? These are the unknowns. That's why we leave it. I'm going to ignore all of these pairs. I don't trade them. GBP USD. So far, we've got the change. We need to see the break. And um, we'll be waiting for this guy. <clears throat> Level one rise. Uh, NZD CAD. Wonderful looking pattern um this is one for next week as well level one consolidation trap false notice the higher highs and higher lows being made even in this trend higher highs and higher lows being made let's have a good old look at it uh what did we see here that was this is consolidation for me and it's just not hard to see consolidation consolidation we expect higher prices um, what am I looking for to get into this one? I'm not going to give away too much of the uh, secret source. But this is a huge long, <clears throat> and I will be sending this next week. I'm going to write that down as well. So that's three that are setting up. Um, 
got to put that there as well as a reminder. Happy days. NZDCHF, I said that this was one of my favourite looking setups. <laughs> it's obviously not played out like that, but it's not one that we sent. Um, I still love it. I'm really, really excited about this one. We did take this long here and we actually got that move. So that was fine. It's a really nice setup. Peak formation, though, that's the only downside. NZD USD, this is the opposite to AUD, well, the brother of or sister of AUD USD. We're expecting lower prices. Um, it's created a bit of a Gartley. We expect lower prices. Looks good. Um, here we go. Gold, just romping. Level one, level two. We need trades off the 50. I'm not sure here about entering this one. Um, so far, I can't see the... Okay, so we like this one a lot. Just waiting. Crude oil's killer. Crude oil is killer market cycle. Massive, massive pattern. Level one, level two, level one on the downside. This is crazy. There is an ABCD that's just going to absorb people. It's going to give a higher low. This is on the way down. This is leaving level one consolidation. That's painful for anyone long gold. USD CAD. Beautiful. Look at it. One, two, expecting higher prices. And notice the harmonic. We're in this as well, guys. This is a, this is a great trade for us. We are in here um, and we're expecting TP2 any moment. So listen, thanks for watching. I hope you gained some valuable insight into how we approach the markets. Um, have a good rest of the weekend and we'll try and get some good trades out for next week. Thank you for watching. Cheers.